Hello everyone, welcome to Graphic Arena. Today we are going to learn how to convert a photo into a vector style art within few seconds. So let's get started. Open the photo in Photoshop and create a selection with pen tool. In this tutorial we are actually doing two things. First, we are creating a vector style art and second, we are creating an action that is going to record each step we will take in this tutorial. And after that we can use this action on any photo we want and apply that action in few seconds. Make selection and add a clip mask to it. Now our photo is all set. Name it as shape. Now let's create an action. Go to windows, action. Create a set, vector art. Click OK. Create new action. Name it convert to vector art start recording. You can see this red button. It means it start recording already. Select shape layer, right click, convert to smart object. Create a adjustment layer of hue saturation. Make the saturation minus 100 to make it black and white. Now add adjustment of solid color. Choose any color you want. Now change the layer mode to hard mix. You see when we change the solid color, we get up to 4 colors maximum. That means the hard mix filter give us the freedom to add up to 4 colors in our vector art. Choose a color that have 4 colors. Click OK. Now add black and white adjustment layer and set the ratio of 40-60. It will help us to create a more exact color balance when we add a gradient map to it. Now add our adjustment layer of gradient map. Now we are going to add 4 colors in the gradient palette. There will be 4 positions for each color. The darker shade will be on the 0% location and the lighter color will be on the 100% position. In between we are going to add two positions, one is on 60% position and second is 40%. We are going to use blue tone for this gradient. Now this gradient map is compatible with the black and white adjustment layer. That's why we put 40 and 60 ratio. Now select the shape layer, go to image, adjustments, shadow highlights. Increase the amount of shadows and highlights, click OK. Now you see the color tones in photo is very rough. We are going to make it smooth with the oil paint filter. Go to filter, stylize, oil paint. We are only going to increase the value of stylization and cleanliness. Click OK. Rename the shape layer as high detailed and create another copy of it with the name low detailed. After we complete the action, you will know why we created two copies with these names. Add a mask on the high detail layer. Press Alt Ctrl F to apply the filter once again. Repeat it until you get a soft edge. Now change the solid color values to adjust the mid tones and colors for the better result. Click OK. Now create an adjustment layer of solid color right below the high detail layer and convert it into a smart object. Name it Paper Texture. Now go to Filter, Filter Gallery. Apply the note paper effect to it. Click OK. Now open the smart object and color fill with grey. Save it to see its effect. Select the paper texture and set its layer mode to multiply. Now we have paper texture also on our vector art. Let's add black and white gradient fill. Make it radial. And remember the black layer will be in the center, the white will be the outer. Now right click and convert it into a smart object. Go to filter, pixelate, color half tone. Set radius value to 30 and all channels will be 0. Click OK. Maybe we should reduce the radius to 20. This is the beauty of smart object. Whenever we convert a smart object, we can easily change its parameter whenever we want. Now move it below the high detail layer and set its opacity to 40% and layer mode to multiply. Let's move it below the low detail layer. Add another adjustment layer of solid color, name it as background color. Let's choose a color that will make the background light. Let's also create a border layer for it. Make a selection of mask. Go to select, modify, contract. Set the value 50, click OK. Now fill the black color by pressing Alt backspace and fill the black color to hide the selection. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Let's add another gradient of black and white and set its layer mode to overlay. Make its opacity to 40%. Now 
Now create a group of it. Let's stop the action, go to Windows Actions, stop recording it. Now we have our own action and the art is also ready. You can also change the gradient colors according to yourself. I have made several palettes for the gradients. Let's play the action and see the results. And now we have our own action. Within few seconds you can get the results. Also I forget to tell you why I created high and low detailed layers. Because when we apply oil paint filter on an image it loses its details. That's why we keep another layer right below it and mask only those areas where we want details. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and if you do please subscribe to my channel, give it a big thumbs up, tell me your views in the comment section. Let's meet on another tutorial for the time being, goodbye.